We're going to talk here a little bit about the ductwork system. Uh, it seems pretty simple. A fan blows air uh, throughout the structure and it comes back and goes back into the fan again and it gets blown back out. Uh, the type of fan is important. Uh, we use what is called a squirrel cage blower. Okay, they usually look something like this. This is a direct drive blower. The motor's on the other side. Uh, the squirrel cage type blower is a static pressure blower, meaning it will move air against a static pressure. Now, what is a static pressure? Static pressure is pressure that you can measure inside the ductwork. Even if you closed off all outlets to the ductwork, you would have a certain amount of static pressure that this blower could actually produce. Uh, compare that to propeller type blowers, uh, they won't work against hardly any static pressure at all. These blowers will, they can be made to work against whatever static pressure you want to work them against but the squirrel cage blower is pretty much the uh, air mover for most ductwork systems unless you get to some very large axial type fans and the like okay um, static pressure as I said it's if I was to take the ductwork and close off all the outlets and just turn on the fan that fan would go up to whatever static pressure it could work against and then it would just stop blowing it doesn't uh, load the fan excessively or anything like that with higher static pressure actually a higher static pressure reduces the amount of air that the blower moves and reduces the power used by the blower so static pressure we can measure that we would measure with a manometer it's in inches of water column. Now, the reason we're using inches of water column is because the pressures are very low. You don't need a lot of pressure to get that air to move through there. In fact, if you had a lot of pressure, you'd probably blow the ductwork apart. So, uh, most of these I sometimes in here discuss using one inch water column. That's kind of a residential measurement. Uh, they most of the fans don't go much above one inch water column and so the squirrel cage blowers pull it from the return run it through the supply and so on now the other pressure we deal with is like here's velocity pressure velocity pressure is really just the inertia of the air moving um, do a quick one on on this uh, supply here if this supply is moving air this way like this this outlet here will be for the most part how much air will go out of that for the most part will be determined by static pressure that is the pressure inside the duct compared to you know the ambient outside so if there's a higher pressure in the duct it'll go out this other one here that's on the end of the duct it will move it actually moves more air because the air is moving down the duct the static pressure is going to push it out of here but also the inertia or velocity pressure of the air is also going to move it out so I may move twice as much air through the same size pipe coming out the end of a duct as I move over here in the duct. So there's those two pressures together uh, and you can add them together and they become total pressure. We don't, velocity pressure on some of the smaller equipment is not a real large issue uh, when we're diagnosing problems with it. But hopefully I've explained the terms I'm going to be using 
when we talk about ductwork pressure.